think it feels like history repeating itself from a few years ago. Uh, my mum took the call on a sorry Tuesday night from the EFL to tell her that Berry had gone bust a few years ago and that was it, they were done. And someone at Derby will take that call in a few weeks' time if uh, something big doesn't happen. And there are a lot of similarities with Berry, but the problem is with taking over a club that's in administration, the club can become that murky in terms of its financial transactions, the owner siphoning off the stadium away from the club, so you're not actually even buying the stadium when you take over the club. You wonder what contracts have been entered into. You've got these two outstanding legal cases with Wickham and Middlesbrough. Now, Wickham and Middlesbrough, I agree with you, Wickham and Middlesbrough might have very valid cases. They may not have valid cases. I think if football is a real family, Wickham and Middlesbrough have to stand down. They have to stand down, unfortunately. And that's not to suggest that their case is invalid. It's not to suggest that their case is valid. But we talk about a football family. Football is a family where the brothers and sisters are arguing over the will. It's not a true family because we see greed, we see selfishness. And I'm not talking about Wickham and, and Middlesbrough here, but we're talking about the desperation that exists with what the previous owner has done. And at the bottom of the rung of the ladder are the fans waiting for outcomes, waiting for news. Now, people point towards the EFL, and I know Berry fans did. The EFL are the 72 clubs, and there are other clubs within the 72 that have got debt. So if for some reason there is a rescue package, package just for Derby, that would then mean there would be a precedent set for other clubs to then get their debt paid off. And then you've got the situation where Berry fans will be saying, where were you for us? Football is basically governed in the same market as any free market business in this country. If Woolworths goes into administration and no one wants to buy it out of administration, it goes bust. If no one wants to buy Derby County out of administration in the next couple of weeks, months, however long that moment is, they will go bust and it's inconceivable that this can continue and no one can save Derby at this moment in time other than a buyer coming in and taking on and satisfying the administrator, satisfying the creditors, potentially trying to get a deal with Mel Morris on the stadium and that's going to be damned hard work and please we have to now, I know we had the discussion last week about football regulation there isn't the regulation, the processes in place for football to be able to step in. There isn't the real-time financial monitoring to be able to stop Mel Morris be doing what he's been doing in the last few years. I so don't... Is that the biggest problem, the owner? It's the fact that ultimately what's happened previously at Bury, the owner committed to costs that he couldn't afford to chase the dream. The owner of Derby has committed to costs that he's not willing to either he can't afford or he's not willing to fulfil. And then... He doesn't just do that, he walks away with the stadium. It's horrific. Football clubs need to be treated like grade one listed buildings and not like normal businesses on the street that are subject to free market conditions. We have to change the model in English football to stop this happening. And I know there are many different facets to independent regulation, to transparency, sustainability, fit and proper persons tests, all the things that we know need to be corrected but the reality of it is it will not happen with the current football structure in place. And we'll continue to see more Derbys, more Boltons, more Wiggins, more Macclesfields, more Berries. And some of them will survive and some of them will fall by the wayside. But there is a way forward in the future. We can get this through Parliament in the next 12 to 18 months that will stop football clubs going by the wayside because there'll be real-time financial monitoring. Owners will have to fulfil the obligations of the cost that they're basically committing to whether it by bank guarantee, whether it by bond, whether it by personal guarantee, whether it by cash, they'll have to be, they'll have to do that. But at the moment, I feel desperate for Derby fans. They're waiting and they can't do anything about it because there are tens of millions of pounds needed to save that football club. And then you might still have to then go and even get the stadium from Mel Morris. You might not even give it to you. You don't even know. But there's no obligation upon Mel Morris to come forward. There is no way of being able to say to him, give us the stadium. Again, we're talking about a situation where you can't just drag property off people, but football stadiums, Should, yeah. football's training grounds, football assets, football clubs need to be treated differently than every other business in this country. So the idea of Tesco's and corner shops, forget those analogies. There are going to be how many people in here tonight? 20,000 people desperately watching their team and every ground up and down the country thousands of fans derby county you've played there how many times in front of 30,000 fans a rich history of great managers great players and they're now tonight helpless powerless to do anything about their club 
Not just that, the fans are, are helpless and powerless, but the authorities, the government, the EFL are actually powerless to be able to step in and do anything other than try and find a suitable buyer for the club that's in administration. The administrators are ordinarily appointed by the owner that's failed the club. That's happening at Derby. It happened at Bury. It's madness what is happening and we've got to stop it. I don't know how to help Derby other than to plea with someone to try and buy it and allow regulation to change in the next 12 to 18 months. But this has got to change now. The final, this is not the final straw, by the way. The final straw was years ago. The final straw's gone. This is actually, to be fair, beyond whatever the final straw would be. So, look, it, it, it's, it's, it's more important than football, this, because the reality of it is Derby County going under and not being a football club anymore is inconceivable.